so far, Teledyne LeCroy basically had a stranglehold on the thermal camera market via their FLIR division. Recently, Infiray, which is a Chinese company, has been working on offering an alternative. And I recently got my hands onto their plug-in camera for USB-C Android devices. And I got myself a sample. And in the following steps, I'm going to show a little bit about what this camera, which usually costs around 300 US dollars retail, can do for you. And here we have the actual box as it was delivered. So let's start to cut inside and see what we just got ourselves. Packaging so far looks quite solid. It's very light package though, just, just something to note down. Gonna be a bit lazy today and just use the Stanley knife to cut inside. And here she is, Tada Inray. And yes, here we have the little box, which we see here touch the temperature of the world. And it's a very solid, but very light box. So it's time to cut in and see what we find next. Here we go. There is some kind of cable inside of here. And here, that's a nice idea, is the actual thermal camera. And in this little baglet, we find a carrying pouch and a small bit of documentation. And yes, this is already the actual camera. We have here a nice magnetic fit for an add-on lens. And here we can remove this. And this basically already is the hardware. And yes, for transportation, the camera comes with such a little bag, which you can use if you want to. And now there is something important. This here is a macro lens and you mainly need it if you want to look at PCBs and things or if you want to protect the sensor. In practice, I've made the discovery that if you run it like this, it is much more accurate. So I usually just put this on the side and use the main sensor like this. And as we see here, the software, or rather the manual, tells us that we should download the software and then we'll find more information about the product in the software. And the minimum recommended operating system version is Android 9, so my Galaxy Z Flip will fit that just fine. The actual software to be used is P2 Pro. You see it's this thing here. And here, if we click the data safety tab, we don't see too much in the way of permissions. I'm going to click here, see details. And it looks to me like it's relatively clean. I'll check the permissions later. But be that as it may, when we click open, the thing starts up. We have to accept this policy here. And then it gives a little tutorial how to use it. And yes, here it's now saying I should plug in the camera. I will leave the protective foil on for now. And I'm gonna shove it in here and see what happens. And now I have to allow this, you see here. And now in theory, it should work. Let's try again. Now I have to do it again and I have to give these permissions here. That's very important. Sometimes you do it twice and only after you did it for the second time, you see here that the permission gaining process has started. And now you can, for example, look at me and you see me here with my spectacles. 
looking a bit weird as you see here on the screen. And of course this is a USB-C so now I'm trying to plug it in the other way around and ta-da! I see if I plug it in the other way around it also starts up and we can muck around with it a little bit more. We can see here a little bit of my area where I live. And yes, here we have the main application surface. We see the temperature, for example, of my hand here in the background and the watch. And the nice thing is that we can click the photo button here to make photos. And of course, we here have multiple different palettes. You see, if you want a different color palette, you can select it like so, for example, here we have red hot. And then it's a bit difficult with one hand. I'm gonna try. Ah, okay, you see, that doesn't work so well. You can make a picture like so. And here we have the picture. This picture saved successfully and it saved another picture. And this is really, really useful because as you see here, if I go into the gallery application, I find the image and you see they boost the resolution a little bit so that the image is accepted by most social networks. This saves a lot of post-processing time and you can of course share it with whatever you want to share it with. And just in case any one of you feels disturbed by this Inferay logo, if you go here into general, you can use this option. And now you see the Inferay logo is no longer visible. Many companies don't allow you to remove this. And I think this is a very fair and very honest maneuver. And it really deserves additional kudos. And yes, there also is a video recording option, which you see here. And this works really quite well. The only problem with it is that it doesn't record voice files, at least in my testing. But the videos in general, they turn out very well. Here I have a little example video of a failing ball bearing, which incidentally is one of the classic applications for a thermal camera. And as for the resolution of the thing, it is really quite insane. Look what I'm doing here. I'm touching and then I'm removing. And you see that even the relatively minuscule thermal difference remains visible for the thing. This is very, very impressive. And yes, basically here, this professional thermometry option, it gets you some additional tools like lines and stuff you see, which you can add some additional display information and collect additional thermal data. This is mainly something for analysis and it's probably something the average electrical engineer will not use so much. But of course, it's very nice to have the option if you ever do need it. Well, this is, what should I say, a very, very impressive product. I'm really, really satisfied with what you get for the money. And I especially really like the integration into Android. Because with this thing, not only can you use it as a camera, but you can also easily export the content and put it on Instagram, put it into reports, this and that and up and down. And the resolution also is pretty fine. So if you want a thermo camera, definitely give Inferay a chance and also keep the brand in the back of your head if you ever need a sanction proof thermo camera sensor because these guys can provide it just like Giga device for microcontrollers.